hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n at this here we can express this as 9 raised to power x times 9 raised to power 1 minus also this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here we have 9 raised to power x over 9 raised to power 1, then equals to 100 on this side. The next step here, this is the same thing as 9 raised to power x times 9 raised to power 1, same thing as 9, then minus. We can write this as 9 raised to power x times. 1 over 9 then equals to 100 on this side then here we have 9 raised to power x comma we factor it out and we have 9 raised to power x into brackets here we mean 9 minus 1 over 9 close brackets then equals to 100 from here that is, here we bring this together as one fraction. This is 9 over 1. And we have 9 raised to power x into brackets. The same here, that's 9. Then 1 in 9, 9. 9 times 9, that's 81. Minus 9 in 9, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Close bracket equals to 100 from here. Then this becomes 9 raised to power x times 81 minus 1. That's 80 over 9. Then equals to 100 on this side. And from here, to remove this 80 over 9, we multiply both sides by its reciprocal, which is 9 over 80. Also multiply this side by 9 over 80. Like this. From here, this 80 cancel each other. 9 also cancels each other. And we are left with 9 raised to the power x. Which is equals to here yeah, also 20 can go in 80 all times and also 20 goes in 100 five times and what we have becomes 5 times 9 over 4 year then next step here we take the log on both sides that this year we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 5 times 9 over 4. Then, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is, here, all we have becomes x log 9 equals to log 5 times 9 over 4 from here. Then this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b over c, this can be written as log a plus log b minus log c. Then we apply that here and we have x log 9 equals to log 5 plus log 9 minus log 4. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. That is, here, log 9 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log 5 plus log 9 minus log 4 over log 9. The next step here, we separate this into to three fractions. And we have x equals to log 5 over log 9 plus log 9 over log 9 minus 
log 4 over log 9. Then from what we have here, log 9 cancelled each other. And we have one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 9 minus log 4 over log 9. Then, next step here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. All we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 3 squared minus log also 4 here can be written as 2 times 2 that's 2 squared and we have log 2 squared over log 3 squared then next step here we apply the power of log ring that these two comes here two comes here also here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over 2 log 3 minus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. Then, yeah, this becomes x equals to 1 plus, can write this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. The minus here yeah, to cancel each other. We have log 2 over log 3. The next step here, we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, here, yeah, all we have becomes x equals to 1 plus. 1 over 2 log 5 base 3 minus log 2 base 3. The next step we can bring this together as one fraction. Now we have x equals to yes, same here that's 2. At this here, this becomes 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log. 2 base 3. That is the value of x here. We have 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 or over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to. 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2. That is this, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3. All over 2 then plus 1 here minus also 9 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 then we have minus 1 here is it equals to 100 on this side then here we can bring this part together as one this one over one that is we have 9 raised to power the SCM up here that's 2. Then here we still have 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3. Then plus 2 here now. Then minus also 9 raised to power. We bring this together as one as well. SCM here is 2. And here we have 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3. Then minus 2 here. Is it equals to 100 on this side? And next day, we have 2 plus 2, that's 4. This becomes 9 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 3 
minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 then minus also 9 raised to power here we have 2 minus 2 that's 0 and this remain raised to power log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 100 on this side but this here we can express 9 as 3 square which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 then also minus 9 here that's 3 square which is raised to power log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 up here is it equals to 100 on this side then here this power multiplies two here cancel each other this becomes 3 raised to power 4 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 then minus also 2 cancel each other here we have 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 is it equals to 100 on this side then here this follows the law of indices and what we have becomes 3 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 then divided by 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 then minus also here we have 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 divided by 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 is it equals to 100 on this side? Then, here we have 3 raised to power 4. That's 81 times this follows on we have A raised to power log B to base A, which is equals to B. At this here, we have 5. Then over. Also here, when we reverse this 2 up, what we have becomes 3 raised to power log 2 square, which is 4, base 3. And this same thing as 4. At this here we have 4, then minus. Here we have 5 over 4 as well. Is it equals to 100 on this side? That is, here we have 81 times 5, that's 4, and 5 over 4, minus 5 over 4. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then here we bring this together as one fraction. We can write this as the SM as 4, then 4 around 5 minus 5, that's 400. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then 400 over 4, yeah, of course, that's 100, which is equals to 100 on this side. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here yeah, that x equals to. 2 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 log 2 base 3 all over 2 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the description bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.